If line k in the xy plane has the equation y equals mx plus b, where m and b are constants, what is the slope of, of line k? And of course, this slope would be m. m represents the slope. So we need to find the value of m. Statement number one tells us that line k is parallel to another line. I'll call this other line line q parallel to line q with the equation y equals 1 minus m x plus b plus 1. Well, this new line has a slope of 1 minus m and a y-intercept of b plus 1. The fact that they are parallel means they have the same slope. That is a huge idea. Parallel lines in the coordinate plane have the same slope. So what that means is that the slope of k would equal the slope of this thing that I'm calling q. m equals 1 minus m. Well, that would allow us to solve for m, which is what the question is asking. So statement number 1 is sufficient. It would allow us to solve for the numerical value of the slope. Now forget statement number 1. Statement number 2 tells us that line k intersects Another line, the line y equals 2x plus 3, intersects it at the point 2 comma 7. And so that means if we plugged in x equals 2, we'd get m times 2 plus b equals whatever that y value is. It would equal 2 times 2 plus 3, or in other words, 7. Well, the trouble is here, what we have is one equation, but we have two unknowns. And because we have two unknowns, we can't solve uniquely for m. We can find out, we can find out something about a combination of m and b together, but we can't isolate m and solve for a numerical value. And so this statement by itself is insufficient. One is sufficient, two is insufficient. Answer choice A.